Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to uh, Bounty Hunters. Make Bounty Hunter amps. And we got a radio on the bench. New radio. Let's dive in. Alright. I'm going to have you guys open up the box along with me. This is unscripted. I haven't opened up the box yet. Fresh from China. Just so you know, I'm not a huge fan of Chinese parts, but... I really don't like selling used radios with brand new amps, so I'm trying to find a radio that I can sell with my amps. But it's a brand amount of power, it doesn't need to be modified heavily um, from the get go. Uh, owner's manual actually looks like it's in English, it's only in English. <clears throat> that's, that's cool. Pretty basic stuff here. I work in front of the radio with all the, the knobs and stuff do. I think we'll sit here more with that. <clears throat> we got a bracket for a 10 meter radio. And guys, this is a 10 meter radio. It doesn't need to be converted over to 11 meter to use on a chicken band. I am not a fan of this microphone. That's something that needs to be addressed too. Apparently the microphone has a lot well, comes to the comm cable. Uh, power cable, which it's actually got some decent size. Looks like uh, 16 or maybe 14 gauge wires in there. And hardware. It comes with the screws to the side of the, the bracket. And little pads that go on the sides of the bracket. Um, spare fuse screws to screw the bracket and whatever you want to screw it into. Pretty all inclusive. And this again is why I'd rather sell a brand new radio than to sell something that's used because it comes with all the brand new parts. But I think you have to do some modifications to it in order to use a normal microphone. So we'll figure that out a little bit later. So yeah, we're on the <clears throat> 10 meter band here. Don't need to be converted. I'm kind of curious if uh, if the conversion is the same for this as it is for the Anytone 5555. So let's grab that off of there. Slide that onto there. See if we get any noise. Yep, we got some noise there. Switch to AM here. I like the click of the knob. All the knobs feel pretty nice here. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get this thing converted over to something that's useful. We'll be back in a second here. Alright, let's see if we can uh, <coughs> freak into the menu here. I'd like to have something to set this on. So, so. So if we go down to 31, we should be at 27315, which is a normal frequency that I talk on this one. And I guess since we're here, let's give it a little power test. So we're going to check our meters here. We have um, a couple different things going on here. An RMS up here at the top on a 10 watt scale. Um, 
actually it should probably, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to a bigger scale, but RMS on a 10 watt scale coming out of the radio, going into the driver, uh, coming out of our driver, going into our final stage, once again, RMS, but on a 100 watt scale, switches down, opens up, <clears throat> and then down here, we have peak uh, on a, I think, 2500 watt scale, I can't remember exactly what uh, this thing's on right now, let's put it on a 250 watt scale. That way it'll, it'll range a little bit better. So, let's grab our goofy feeling little chintzy mic. I have normal size dude hands, and this mic feels goofy in my hands. So, that's the only real complaint I have about this thing is how cheap and stupid the microphone feels. But it does allow you to change the <coughs> up and down. So, currently, oh yeah, we're slapping that. 10 watt scale on the those are RF power set up our RF power is cranked all the way up so let's turn it all the way down and see where we are on a 100 watt scale now not a 10 watt scale uh, not quite 10 watts maybe like a watt and a half uh, 2 watts it's actually down pretty low so if I take this key it and see if I can turn the RF power up while I key it That's like an 11, 12 watt carrier. That's that's uh that's pretty good for a dead key. And let's check our PEP on this. Audio check one two one two. Audio check one two. Uh, I ain't doing a whole lot. Let's let's turn the power all the way up. Test test audio test one two one two. There we go. So it's doing about 35, almost 40 watts with the power turned all the way up. Which is kind of what I expected to do with no tune in it, no peak or anything like that. And I actually don't want these things to be peaked in tune. I'd rather have them bone stock just the way they are, and they'll probably last a lot longer that way. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to hook this up here in my station and, uh, and start doing some extensive testing on it. Put a, put a good speaker on it, put a good speaker behind it, and uh, something that actually sounds a little bit better than this piece of junk on the bottom of here. And, uh, and run it for a while and see what it's like. But my first impression is I really like the knobs compared to the striker knobs. The striker knobs feel kind of chintzy. And another thing is when you start moving them, um, they'll move together. Like sometimes when you move uh, the squelch, you see that? You see how the squelch <coughs> grabs the volume and moves that together? That is a big pain in the dick. I hate that. I, I, I really can't stand that. Um, striker, can you do a little bit better on your uh, on your knobs here? <clears throat> Not a big fan of the striker knobs; they feel kind of cheap. This actually feels very nice. It it, it feels like a uh, a pretty well thought out radio. Um, these have been on the market for a while under different names. I think they have like seven or eight different names. Um, everything from the Top Line Quad Five, Anytone Quad Five, uh, CRT sixty nine something something. Uh, there's there's a ton of different names for these things, but. Um, you saw how easy the conversion was. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and convert the ones that I sell, make it a little bit easier for uh, for whoever picks these up. And uh, yeah, it's also got upper and lower sideband too. So as far as features, uh, I'd have to say this is a pretty feature-packed radio. Right, here we go. Um, Pretty nice clarifier on here. You can slide back and forth, and it shows you right right up there on the display where you're going. And so it show your SWR. I think there's a way to set it up to show your SWR. But we'll have to get into all that. Let's see. Okay. Roger B. I, I, I don't know all what's on here, but I think we're going to figure it out here pretty soon. We're gonna start playing with this a little bit, and uh, get you guys another video and let you know what it's like after we fool around with it for like a week or so and see what it's actually like. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get back on the side. We'll holler at y'all later. Seven threes, professors on the side.